Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Pepper Day. So I just finished recording my Super Hots and Hot Peppers video, all the ones that I'm growing this year. And so I'm just gonna continue on and do my Sweet Pepper video. Um, hence the same shirt. So don't you love it? It's poor chickens. Oh, look at the back. Oh, a bunch of chickens again. <laughs> my husband just got this for me. Um, I think I talked a little bit about that I, in the hot, if you've watched the hot pepper video, I talked a little bit about um, Pepper Lovers Collective and Swap. It's the Facebook group I'm a part of, a moderator of. It's an awesome group. If you're new here and you haven't checked it out and you're on Facebook, go check it out. You won't be sorry. Lots of fun trading. Lots of cool stuff happening in there. Um, I've got sweet peppers all over the place. I've started a whole, whole lot of sweet peppers already. So I started my sweet peppers last week. Like I said in my sweet, or like I said in my super hots and hots video, this probably won't be everything I start. If I come across some really cool stuff, <laughs> trading and whatnot, um, I probably will start more seeds, but this is pretty much what I'm starting. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot more as far as sweet peppers, this is really going to fill up Pepperville. So I've actually expanded Tomatoville to have a area where there's Pepperville. Because last year in Materville, I tried to grow my peppers underneath of my tomato plants. It didn't work out. My tomato plants just did exceptionally well. The foliage just covered up any pepper plants that there were. So I'm making a separate Pepperville for my pepper plants this year. So it should be pretty awesome. It's going to be full of pepper plants, hot pepper, sweet peppers, lots of sweet pepper taste tests to come. Lots. I know I can do the sweet pepper taste test, the hot pepper taste test. I don't know about those. Lots of videos to look forward to, I'm sure. But let's just get into the haul. Uh, let's start with the Baker Creek ones that I started. Um, and I said in my hot pepper video, I am not a pepper connoisseur. So if I say a pepper in here that's hot, or has any kind of spice and it's not sweet, let me know in the comments because I'm I'm learning, I'm still learning. Um, so, Buena Mulata, it's gorgeous. Sweet Chocolate. Rewa, I tried growing this last year. I'm not sure if I actually got any peppers off of that plant. Zulu, I did get a couple peppers off of that. I said in my um, hot pepper video too that I planted the smaller type of pepper plants with the larger ones. So some of them didn't do all that great. I'm gonna try to correct that this year and separate smaller plants from the larger plants. We'll see. <laughs> this one was my absolute favorite last year. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is incredible. Oh, it was delicious. Super sweet. Super big. Oh my gosh. Uh, Lesia. I guess is another one I tried to grow last year. I may have lost the label. So I probably got peppers from it. I just didn't know what they were. There was quite a few of that. That's another thing I'm ch changing up this year. I'm going to use tree tags on my plants. On my tomato plants and on my pepper plants. Because I feel like squirrels or something collect my tags or move them around. I don't know. <laughs> I have uh, some squirrel issues. Uh, this one too, Ajvarsky. I've tried growing that last year, but I don't know if I got any. So try again. Uh, I've got a couple of packets from Totally Tomatoes. This is a Valhalla. Valhalla. Valhalla pepper. It's a sweet pepper um, and it's a hybrid. Valahia. And then es Escamilo. And this is another one that I love. Two years ago, I grew this. Saved seeds from it. And I grew it again. I know it's a hybrid, but I saved the seeds and I grew it again this year. And I kid you not, it, had, it was even better. There's a picture. I can throw it up. And it's an Escamilo pepper. And it was like this huge. I put my hand up against it. It is a massive. And it was super sweet. Super delicious. So I'm actually going to. I save seeds from it. So I'm actually going to um, grow a couple of these. And mark them. And then I'm going to grow from the saved seeds 
from this year and see if I can continue on with the genetics of that orange pepper. It, it was incredible. Um, continuing on with some hybrids. I got super heavyweight sweet pepper. This is from Remer, Remier or Remer Seeds. And then Jumbo Stuffed Sweet. So these are like really giant sweet peppers. Um, I've got one sweet pepper because I got mostly hot peppers. This was probably a gift. I don't know if I ordered this from Matt's Peppers. I'll link it below. I, I'm growing a ton of his hot and super hots. Um, but this is Sweet Palermo. I had a friend last year gift me a whole bunch of really cool peppers, a whole bunch of really cool tomatoes, um, and I'm trying to grow what he sent me again this year. Uh, yeah, I don't think any of these did very well last year for me, or they got mislabeled. I just don't know. But Shervina Shushka and Yummy Cream. So I actually planted all the seeds I had left of that. I hope they do okay. And Trinidad Perfume. So it's, it's a red sweet bonnet. Yeah. So he puts a lot of information on his package, which is awesome. Um, and if you have any information on any of these that you'd like to share with me, please, in the comments, let me know. I need some education. <laughs> Um, from Nika to, I can't ever say that. From this place, I got Sweet Pepper Australian, which is supposed to be like a really big one. Look at that. I got Orpheus. Again, another really large one. Uh, Bogdan. And Giant Ozark Yellow. Look at that. Do you see that purse? That's their hand and they're holding a pepper. So cool. Uh, I got one here that I planted. It's Dreamcatcher Variegated Pepper. I've got one from Delectation of Tomatoes, Dunyasha. What's this one say? It's pale yellow, almost ivory. Turn bright yellow when ripe. They can weigh four to six ounces. From Russia is a girl's name meeting good seeming. So that's pretty neat that he puts that information on the packet. Okay, so let's see here. I've got a couple of sweets from Forgotten Heirlooms. Orange Lesia and Bridge to, Par Bridge to Paris Sweet. And then I've got one from Tomato Faifu called Numex Eclipse. And then I have a whole bunch from Tomato Eden peppers. Oh, um, I have a ton more sweet peppers, but I really didn't want to overwhelm. <laughs> I didn't want to overwhelm myself and grow all of the ones I got from her. And I actually placed another order. I'm waiting on that order. Oh, I hope it comes. I hope it doesn't get snagged by customs, but it hasn't come yet. So I'm probably not starting any of those seeds, but these are the ones I picked out from Tomato Eden. She has, I'll link that, I'll link that website down below. Tomato Eden has the most incredible selection of tomatoes and peppers. Like, I love her website too. It's so easy to get on there and fill your cart, really easy. This is what I'm growing from Tomato Eden. Purple Studge. Let me see if I can get the glare. Um, I'm probably only growing about half of what I bought from her. Black Tulip. Snake. Looks like a really long one. The Sun Rainbow. elephant trunk and I actually um the little piece of paper that you're seeing in the front there was actually on the back right up top here but I cut it off and then I stuck it in the front that way when it's in my seed binder I can easily see the picture as well as the name of it because it's a little folded piece of paper in there with the picture there and then on the back see it's folded right there 
is the information about the pepper or the tomato or whatever. But I wanted to have the name on there too. So I cut that off and stuck it in the front. So that's why it looks like that. It doesn't come like that. I did that myself. <laughs> um, Alkmaar. Japan Giant. Superman. I love the name of that one. I'm actually um, much more of a Superman fan than I am uh, Batman. Who's with me? He's from a different planet. That's super cool. Mammoth Tux Tusks Yellow. That looks huge. Really awesome looking. Giant Okanagua. I'm a sucker for giants things. I like <laughs> I always like if, you, if it's the word giant or massive or whatever, I'm just like, ooh, I want to see how big it can get. So I have a lot of giant things that I'm growing. Bulgarian chocolate. Marconi violet. So I love red Marconi, which I don't know if it's in here. I'm definitely growing it. And I'm growing Corbachi sweet as well. That might not be in here either, but I started a bunch in... Uh, cotton balls in water like just trying to start the seeds in water without soil and I've got two of those already going so I am growing corbachi but I'm also growing red marconi and I think I might have orange marconi in here somewhere I love marconi the marconi Ugh, it's very sweet delicious really good pepper uh, king of the north from tomato eden and the last one from Tomato Eden is Chunga Changa. All right, so the rest of everything are trades or gifts from people that I got. This one was a very sweet viewer from, is it Russia? No, I can't remember. These seeds are from Romania. Someone gifted me these in my P.O. box. Thank you so much. So I'm growing... Sonovo Uvo. She gifted me a few other ones. And I might break down and start them too. But this is the one I've already started. Zazu. This is a large red pepper Jupiter. I believe I started all the seeds. Yep, this is empty. Oh, hope I get something. This is also empty. Phileas Blue. I get something from there. I am growing roulette, which is like a habanada. So it's a red habanero with no, no heat. And I've grown habanada, which I believe is orange. Yeah, I think it was orange. And so I'm interested to grow this one. Oh, yep, here's Marconi Golden. Growing that. I've got mini pointed pepper. So this is a smaller one. So I may end up putting this in a grow pot. I've got, yep, this is empty too. Capazzoli de Shima. Cross your finger guys, hope some of these germinate because I'm out of seeds. I'll trade for them again. Totapiri. Um, Lilac Bell, that's from M.I. Gardner Trade, and that's where she said they're from. Lila Luzi, this one might be spicy because it has the word chili underneath of there, so I don't know how spicy, but. Um, Ethiopian Brown, I've got one seed left. Might as well just plant it too, which I probably do after I'm finished this video. Uh, I've got Ramiro Orange. Another empty packet, done to cut large. Um, Tamiya, which is an orange sweet pepper. And this is the one of the Bikinos. Like a lot of the Bikinos are hot. This one's supposed to be sweet. So Bikino Red. Zorza. Um, sweet Sunset, which is an Italian pepper. Empty pack again, Santaca. Um, 
Oda. Caligaridi. Again, another empty packet. This person, I probably only got probably five seeds, planted a couple last year, and then planted the rest this year. So I'm going to have to, yep, here's another one. Yellow Jelly Bean, same person, empty pack now. I'm going to have to write down all the empty packs just in case. That way I remember that I need to retrade for those. This is another empty pack. Lidge Dove Dlan. Caramel, Antigua, um, Pointed Kibby, Cubanelle, Wisconsin Lakes. Got one dough hill left. Probably just go ahead and sow that seed. And Nikita, same thing. I think, nope, this one's empty. Nikita is empty. Nothing but riffraff in there. Oh, it's upside down. Nikita. I've got blot pepper. I did grow this last year. It's a gorgeous pepper. Very pretty. And then I believe this is the smaller one. I think I saved seeds from this, but I'm out. If I didn't, I'm gonna need to retrade. Chocolate cherry candy cane, and I believe, I believe this is a mini. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to go look at, I think I said in um, the other video that there is a guide in Pepper Lovers Collective and Swap that'll tell you all of the smaller sized pepper plants. This year I can do better with separating out the smaller sized ones with the larger ones. I've got Dido. We're almost done guys, I can't believe it. I'm about 20 minutes in and... <laughs> Um, Aji Fantasy White. Um, this one is Goria. I believe I started seeds for this last year, but I don't really think I got anything. Yolanta. This year is going to be a better year for me for peppers. I'm going to do better. Capija. I think I'm going to plant in the same bed I planted last year, a bunch of sweet peppers, and then um, for the bigger ones, and then have a separate place in my garden. So I have two gardens. I don't know if I, if you're new here, maybe you don't know this. Um, I have where I live, my house here. I have down the side of like a very steep hill. I call it a cliff, because it's like a cliff. And I have beds built down that. And then I also have, uh, I started another place to grow more tomatoes because I'm a tomato freak. I'm expanding on that and making a place called Pepperville where I'm going to plant tons, hundreds and hundreds of pepper plants because I want to do more pepper taste tests and just share with you the growth and, you know, the looks of things. So um, I'm trying to get into growing more peppers and having more peppers, but I also like to have them at my house, especially the sweets. So I have like an entire 33 foot by three foot bed. I'm going to fill it. I think I put a hundred pepper plants, maybe even more pepper plants um, in that bed. And then, but I'm going to have the larger ones in that area. And then I want to have, uh, oh, there's two birds in my rhododendron. Oh, they're so pretty. I bet they're mates. Oh, I love that. But <laughs> squirrel, um, what's I saying? Oh, so they'll be separated out this year. That's my plan. Um, okay, so I've got a couple more. Let's get her done. I've got Ordano, Ordano, very tiny piece of paper. <laughs> and then the last one that I have started is Bishop Crown. So if you are watching this and you're a pepperhead, I'm going to put my email address down below. If you want to contact me and we, like if you want to get more into tomatoes, because I have an extensive list of tomatoes that I could trade, but I'd like to get some more pepper seeds to, um, more pepper plants. So if you're a pepper person and you want to trade, hit me up in the, in my email or hit me up on uh, Pepper Lovers Collective and Swap or Tomato Lovers Collective and Swap. I'm still trading. <laughs> it won't be until like, go season when I have to start planting that I probably back off of trading but 
I definitely want to grow my collection of pepper plants and just grow different things so that I can share different things every year with you. I have enough tomato seed varieties that I could do that probably for the next seven years and grow 400 different varieties and be just fine. But peppers, not so much. So I need to grow my collection. So hit me up in the comments. <laughs> but those are the sweet peppers that I'm, I've already started this year. Um, if I start any more, I'll probably let you know which ones I start in like vlogs and stuff like that. Cause I usually do at least one vlog every weekend and just kind of take you with me on my weekend happenings. My plan this year, my goal this year was every weekend I have to start some seeds. I have to start something. <laughs> Put some seeds in the dirt every week. Last last week was sweet peppers. Um, two weeks before that was hot peppers. It's still a little early for a lot of my tomato plants, but I am going to start some dwarfs today. I'm going to start some more of the hot pepper seeds that didn't germinate yet. So that's my plan for today. Some some dwarf tomatoes that I'm going to try to get going earlier. So I have some early taste tests that I can do. And then I'm going to sow some more of the hot peppers. I think I'm good with sweet peppers for now. I may start some more next weekend. That might be what I do, but... Stick with me, guys. Um, it should be a really fun summer. Lots of taste tests. Lots of uh, I do lots of tours so that you can see how things grow. Uh, it's just going to be a really fun-filled, very lots and lots of variety in my garden. I'm super excited for it. So come hang out with me and make sure you subscribe. Make sure you thumbs up my video. Um, there should be a bunch of links down below and let me know what your thoughts are on the stuff that I just talked about. Uh, if you've grown any of it, if you like it, um, anything that I shared that is new to you. And until the next one, I hope you all ginger your day. Bye.